I'm a partner at Lawson Lindell. My practice encompasses all aspects of management side labor and employment law, including labor relations, employment litigation, human rights, and privacy. I chose labor and employment law for a number of reasons. First, as an articling student, the lawyers in Lawson's labor group provided fantastic mentorship and opportunities for me to play a very meaningful role in files and have direct um, involvement with clients. Second, it, labor and employment law allows me to have both a barrister's and a solicitor's practice. The other day I was doing advocacy work in a mediation in the morning and drafting the employment portions of a share purchase agreement in the afternoon. And finally, it's about relationship building. You have to build strong relations with the unions on the other side of the table, and you have the opportunity to build long-term relationships with your clients. Most of my clients have been clients for a number of years, and I'm able then to provide legal advice that is tailored to my understanding of their needs and objectives. To me, an effective team is one that uh, has respect and open communication, is able to diffuse tension and resolve conflicts in, in a unified way. Teamwork in my practice is most pronounced in collective bargaining. You're spending long hours with a client, uh, negotiating an agreement that will have a significant impact on their business for a number of years. And as a chief negotiator, the main, my main responsibility is to negotiate a deal with the union. But in order to do that effectively, you need a very strong team on the management side. And there are a variety of players. You have local management, human resources, and the senior executive decision makers, each of whom brings a very different perspective. Local management is the face of the organization on the ground. They have to work with the bargaining unit employees and typically have a more vested interest in avoiding a labor dispute. And in the most recent round of collective bargaining, we definitely had different perspectives on the management side. But what we did really effectively is we had good communication. Everyone had an opportunity to present their positions and to challenge and question one another. So by doing that, we were able to diffuse the internal tension in a respectful manner and present a very unified voice at the table with the union and with mediators we worked with throughout the process and ultimately achieved a very successful collective agreement. I volunteer at a pro bono clinic at the downtown Vancouver courthouse. The clients at the clinic typically are in low skill, minimum wage jobs and are often new immigrants to Canada. And in a 30 minute session, I'm able to provide meaningful advice to those clients. For example, a client who recently attended was working excess hours with no overtime, and in fact some of the hours he wasn't being paid at all. And I was able to take him through the Employment Standards Act and his entitlements, and more importantly in his case, to give him the confidence in knowing that his employer was prohibited from discriminating against him if he filed a complaint. And I, I think as, what I take away from these sessions is that as lawyers, sometimes we just take for granted the protections the law affords us, and that we do have a, an ob obligation to share that knowledge, especially for those who don't have the legal means to afford legal services to ensure that they have access to justice. Uh, I think retention continues to be an issue in the legal profession, both for males and females, uh, particularly in private practice. And I, I don't propose to have an answer to it, um, but what has worked very well in my experience is mentorship. At Lawson Lindell, we have both formal and informal mentorship programs, both internally in our firm and in the legal community generally, that I actively participate as a mentor to younger lawyers and also as a mentee. And there are times when we're struggling um, with a difficult problem in our practice or trying to balance um, our legal careers and our families. And having a mentor that you can call up to walk through options, to get advice, and often it's to someone to listen to you, to take you out for a coffee, and maintaining that connection both in your firm or in the legal, legal community. And I've benefited from that as a mentee, but also as a mentor, because there's something very rewarding about working with and assisting younger lawyers that makes you feel connected to and want to maintain a part of that legal community. I find labor and employment law very meaningful and rewarding. There's a human aspect to our practice. As Justice Iacobucci said, work is one of the most fundamental aspects in a person's life. And I have the opportunity to advise clients in ways that help them create productive and positive workplaces. As a primarily management side lawyer, my clients often need to make difficult decisions that impact the workplace or a particular employee. And it is when those difficult decisions need to be made, legal counsel is critical, and when I find my practice most rewarding.
to by developing strategies that achieve the business needs, comply with the legal obligations, but that ensure that the employees are treated with dignity and respect throughout the process. The employer is typically able to save costs and maintain overall workplace morale in what are, can be very difficult times.